going to be a good one. All right, so with that said, now that we are an hour into this thing, let's, uh, let's go ahead and give out our picks. We're not going to spend a long time on these. These are, uh, Birdie said, boys, God, I love you. Uh, the best player in the NFL is getting three and a hook, and folks are going to bet against Mahomes. Crazy. Yeah. Hey, that's the yes. way it goes. That's the way yes. it goes. Uh, Philip Wiggins said, hard to bet against Mahomes. He's a special player. Thanks for having me, guys. Love the show. Hey, we appreciate you. you as well. Thank you for jumping in. You guys make I sure make that you like the same argument video. for Lamar, by the way. I yes. mean, I, but yes, I do think Patrick Mahomes is the best player in football. Correct. Look, it's not like Lamar is 20 players down. Okay. No. He, he might be one or two players down from him. That's it. And you know, it, it's not a real far climb. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right. All right, so let's move into our best bets. Let's go in and get these knocked out right quick. Uh, this All should right. take us only five or ten minutes. We will go. Uh, I'll give a pick. Chris will give a pick. We each have five. So this is kind of our, uh, uh, what was the, the super contest. Super contest, kinda, super contest thing. Picks. Yeah, I always make five picks for super contests. Yes, sir. And I am going, I've got three favorites and i got two underdogs. My I first. Have- Three favorites and two underdogs, scary. I hope that we don't have the exact same picks. Oh, um, <laughs> we're gonna get murdered if we do. My first pick here, when you when you got a good thing going, what, what do you always say? Ride her till she bucks you. Ride her till she bucks you. You don't ride at all. Cardinals minus five and a half at home against the Detroit Lions. The Lions <laughs> still having cornerback issues. When you got Hopkins and Larry Fitzgerald in that offense over there with Kyler Murray, who looks fantastic. I, I got to ride with the Cardinals at home. I think they're still maybe being a little bit underestimated. Uh, they made that Washington defense look putrid, and I think Washington's actually a pretty good team. I, I do too. I yeah. do too. How how dumb am I if I put the lines in my in my uh, in my round robin? I mean, is that just p- w- pissing a pick away? I would think so. God. At this point, like I, they their their secondary cannot cover in in with they're Cliff Kingsbury. Back. That's a Does that matter? Galloway. I don't think so. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Like, I, 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 I don't believe that they are going to be able to cover this line. I think I that the Cardinals need, I are going to I need them to out, win outright, but that would be just betting on gambling. That would just be all that was. It's just gambling. Yeah. Uh, Terry said, is the contest back on again uh, next week? We're going to try and get through this week, make sure that everything is rolling, and, and then we will try and put up a contest for next week. So, no worries. Go over to winningcureseverything.com. We will have the contest section back up. No worries. Um, so I'm, I'm rolling Cardinals minus five and a half here. I like Kyler Murray. I like what he's doing. Deshaun Hopkins is a perfect security blanket for that offense. And Cliff Kingsbury, with weapons like that, it is just almost not fair. Uh, I don't think the Lions can keep up this week. So I am rolling with Cardinals minus five and a half. What you got? First game, I'm going Thursday night football. And I'm, I'm riding the Mississippi mustache. This kid is just <laughs> unbelievable. And I... Th- I think they're going to win. I think they're going to cover. I can get it at three. Um, and uh, and and I just think the Jaguars are a much better football team than people have given them credit for. I think they're going to start the season out two and one. Not too bad. And they got real damn close to going three and oh. You know, and Tennessee know. had some issues. Oh, I needed week. it so bad. I needed it so Ooh. bad. Oh. Next, uh, next game for me, this is game number two on my side. I'm riding your boy Joey Burrow. Bengals plus five and a half going to Philadelphia. I think this Eagles team is garbage. I think that the Bengals are really, really looking for a win here. I understand the Eagles are also looking for a win. I got that. I understand it, whatever. Five and a half points just seems uh, like complete disrespect. So, I'm riding Joey Burrow. I'm riding A.J. Green in that bunch. I I like the defense a little bit for the Bengals. I think they're going to be fine against this offense because I don't think the Eagles are nearly as good as the Browns offense. So, all I got to do is get close to what they did against, uh, if it's the same score, 35 to 30, as it was for the Browns, like, I, I'd still get a cover here. So, I'm going to ride Joey Burrow. I like uh, I like Joey B in this spot, plus five and a half. So, I'm going to take the Bengals as well. You didn't put enough stank on this. This is my <laughs> absolute stone cold lock of the week. I am going to bet the Bengals. I'm going to bet the money line on the Bengals. The Bengals are going to beat the hell out of the Eagles. Joseph Burrow is getting his first NFL win. This Eagles team is trash. I told you they were trash before the season started. I told you I did my little pick grid. I came up. I didn't look at any of the records. I counted all the wins, counted all the losses. When I was done, I came up with four W's for the Eagles this year. And I said, hmm, it can't be right. Everybody else has them going to the playoffs. I must have done something wrong. 
So I reconfigured it, reconfigured it, gave him a few more wins here, gave him a few more wins there. I have no clue where. I, I should have stuck with the four. They're not good. They're not good at football. And, and it's tough because it's what they do for a living. And yes. It's, you know, that makes it a little sad. <laughs> but Joseph Burrow is getting his first W this week in Philadelphia. The Boo Birds are coming for Carson Wentz. I've been on this for a long, long time. That guy's a fraud. He's not really good. No, I think I think you're right. Hey, Damian jumped in, by the way. He said, how creepy would it be if Lamar Jackson wins Super Bowl and MVP, and he's the cover of Madden this year, since Mahomes won it last year, and he was on the uh, on the last cover of Madden. He said, maybe rigged? I don't think it's rigged. I think these are just two damn good football players. <laughs> no, I just, yeah, I, I, I think they're just really, really good. Yes. Yes, just I crazy think so. talented. Th- listen, everybody is still playing second to Russell for the MVP. I do think the winner of Monday night, unless Russell just does something so ungodly crazy against the Cowboys, which probably he's going to do because he's playing against the air. The winner of this game is probably going to get the bump and be the MVP favorite, but it's, it's going to be a five horse race. If you get, if Rogers plays great and, um, Someone brought up earlier, Josh Allen. If Josh Allen's plays right, this is a five-horse race. Yeah. No, you're you're 100% right about that. Uh, third game for me, the Rams are going to Buffalo, and Buffalo's only given up two points here. I'm going to take Josh Allen. I like the Bills here. I think that their defense is going to be able to stifle Jared Goff and that offense. Uh, Cam Akers, obviously, out. Now, we know Daryl Henderson played great last week. Absolutely outstanding stuff. But... I think this is going to be a lot of fun. I think that the Bills are going to be able to cover this without problem. I think two points is not nearly enough here. I think they win this by a touchdown, maybe more. They're at home. The Rams in their second week on the East Coast. Uh, give me give me the Bills all day. This is two fantastic coaches, two great teams. We already talked about the actual matchup. Uh, give me Josh Allen in that team, man. Uh, you, you can get it at minus two at, at several spots. It, go ahead and shop around. Go over to sbrodds.com and do that or sbrpicks.com slash NCAAF if you want to help us out. But, uh, but yeah, like I, I like the Bills here. Bills minus two is my uh, my official pick on that one. My next pick, I'm going to Houston or I'm going to Pittsburgh. I'm betting Houston Texans. I'm betting Bill O'Brien's dumb ass, okay? <laughs> because I don't think they're that bad. And I think the Steelers team is, once again, said earlier, completely fraudulent. I could only get four points. That's the best you're going to get right now. All the bets are coming in on the Steelers. And this line is getting smaller. Guys, all these bookmakers are begging you to just keep dumping money on the Steelers. They're just begging for it to happen. Why? Because they know the Steelers are fraudulent. If Jeff Driscoll could have a game-winning drive on them and come up this short, what do you think Deshaun Watson is going to do? I agree. I agree. That was Jeff Driscoll without Cortland Sutton. Yes. So yeah, I I, I think that I, and I think this is one definitely sprinkling some money on the money line. Hey, you might be right about that. All right, I'm going to move into two teams that you are a fan of. Okay. I'm going to take Washington plus seven and a half at Cleveland. Love it. I while I do think that the Browns, you know, they got off the the schneid a little bit against the Bengals last week. They put up a lot of points, all that. They're not going to be able to put up that many points on this Washington football team. I I think Washington is in a good spot here. They're being underestimated again. A restream jumped in, by the way. 100 messages today on the chat. We Thank appreciate you, you guys. Thank you so much for jumping in. Um, I, you know, seven and a half here. Like, I, I, this feels like oh. a field goal kind of game. If you can get the hook, baby. I like this Washington defense. I told you yeah. that. They're going to they're gonna struggle to find points. Oh, yeah. They just are. I, I'm not sold on Haskins. Hey, I love hey, his hey. leadership. I love his work ethic. It gets, I it don't, better, I don't think he's good at football. That breaks my heart. I love Ron Rivera. Love Ron Rivera. I think that Washington can have points handed to him. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Baker's not afraid to do that. That's what I'm saying. So wouldn't, I, I wouldn't shock me at all for Baker to give him points. So yeah, I, I think I'm going to roll here. I've got, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to have my money on Washington plus seven and a half at the Browns. That is my fourth pick. Move into fourth pick for you. What you got? I'm taking the Tennessee Titans minus two against the Vikings. I, I at some point in time, the Vikings are going to rear their ugly head and they're going to show up and play football. I, I excuse me. I 
I think the Tennessee team has a cheat code in, in, in Henry that can get them out of trouble just to win the game. At two points, I basically need to win the game. And, and I think they're going to do that. I, uh, okay. I'm with you. I'm with you. I, I kind of like that spot. Now, I'm, I'm terrified of it, so I'm not going to put my oh, money yeah, on it. Oh, yeah, I'm terrified. I didn't like a lot of number this, numbers this week, okay? So, that pick and my last pick, I'm I'm deadly afraid of. But Oh, it, it makes sense. makes sense. Uh, finally, last pick for me. Hey, I'm going to Monday night, brother. Give me them Ravens. I, it looks <sighs> right now, I can get it at three at, at a me. lot of different spots. Give me the Ravens minus three. I can get it at Bet Online right now. I can get it at Bookmaker. No, Bookmaker just swap. I can get it at Pinnacle. I can I can get minus three at multiple you can get spots. Three. Yeah. Give me that. I think this Ravens team is pissed. We just talked about the matchup. I love this spot for them. I, the Chiefs, I think, are still a fantastic football team, but you got to go on the road to Baltimore on a Monday night. Give I feel like that. such a hypocrite I, with with such gusto for our for our big game picks. I picked the Ravens, and I am terrified to put one nickel on this game. <laughs> I got no idea what's going to happen. Nothing whatsoever. I'm not putting actual real money. I'll I'll put bullshit money against <laughs> against my homes. I'm not putting real money against my homes. No, I'm I'm going. I'm going I all. I feel out like here. such a. I feel like such a fraud, such a dick. Hey, I feel good about it. I feel that's good about awesome. It. I think it's gonna I, be fun. And I'll be rooting for you because you know I love Lamar. You know I love Lamar. I want to see him do it. I want to see the hate go through this league and just let him just run savage all the way through it. Okay, I do. I do. We saw. We got to see Mahomes have his glory last year. We got to see him get the trophy. We got to see him be coronated as the greatest football player in the world. To, for this year to see Lamar be able to do that, maybe would just nothing would make me happier. So I'm with you. I'm with you. My last bet is a complete pathetic bet. Just I, the Panthers aren't good, and <laughs> and and they just lost the best player in the world on their team. You you may and have just I, lost Terry for us. <laughs> Terry jumped in. He said, "Don't forget to watch the Cubs game tonight. Go Cubs, go! We're back in the playoffs, son." However, if you're betting against, against his Panthers, he might be upset. I'm betting against his Panthers because my boy Justin Herbert gets a whole week of practice knowing he's a starter. He looked really good. He went toe-to-toe with the best player in the world, and he didn't flinch. That's true. That is true. So, give me the Chargers minus six. I don't like it. I don't like it at all, but I got to have five. It's it just – Anyway, it scares me. Th- let me tell you the dumb logic for why it scares me. Then we can get the hell out of here. We've gone Sounds too good. long. That's all Listen, good. The, here's, the only reason it scares me is this. Yes, he's had all week to practice, but last week he didn't. Yeah, but sometimes there's something to kind of sitting around with your thumb in your ass, your family's – no one's expecting you to play. You're not expecting you to play. All of a sudden they say, hey, kid, get in there. You're playing. You're like, oh, shit, what? Okay, and you go in, and you don't have time to think about it. Now grandma and papa and everybody in the family is going to be watching. They're all going to be tuned in. The whole world is going to show up to watch you play this game. And you set expectations last week. And you set expectations. And all I could think of is the pressure that would go in somebody. This guy might not shit all week. Okay. It's just going to be rough, but I, I don't know how the Panthers look offensively without McCaffrey. He's just their every, everything. He is yeah. their cheat code. He, he is the, the fix to all of their problems. This defense is already not good. So if you're going to get your first NFL start, let's do it against maybe the worst defense. I say that now. The Cowboys are probably the worst defense in the league. But one of the worst defenses in football. Yeah. I'll lay the six. I don't love it. I can understand it. Let's uh, get the hell out of here. Uh, let's jump through some of these right quick. Oh, okay. uh, Terry, Terry said, why are you hating, Chris? Uh, I'm not. I don't mean to. I really don't. You, I, I really do love Matt Rule. I love your coach. I think you're going to be fine. I think it's going to take a while. Uh, Birdie said one playoff by this year. Chiefs show up in the last. Uh, Chiefs show up in this last attempt to talk you out of it, Gary. You ain't talking me out of it. I it, I think the Ravens are winning this football game. I think I, I do think the winner of this game gets that by. Oh, absolutely. I I, I do think, that's think what happens. that. Uh, Damien Estrada lose Cubs lose. Hey, Damien, you are not making fans on this podcast, brother. I'm just telling you, just telling you. One K <laughs> family said whatever happened to college picks? You hadn't been watching, man. That's, That's Tuesdays. Tuesdays last on. night. Go to SB, you got to go to SBR for that. We we've been it. we've been we've sold our soul. 
That's it. Go over to sbrpicks.com slash NCAAF or on YouTube, just search for SBR Picks. You can find our college football picks right over there. We go live every Tuesday over there. We go live on Saturday mornings. We have our Monday opening lines segment that we discuss. And uh, and then we have some other stuff that comes out like on Thursdays, et cetera, et cetera. So middle of the week, we're going to have even more stuff come out. So, yes, we have a lot of fun stuff. Uh, with that said, you guys have been absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much to everybody that jumped in. Again, massive numbers on today's show. I don't know what's happening. I'm glad that we're growing. But we do appreciate you guys oh, for man, jumping we appreciate in. it. Faux show. This is always a lot of fun. These Wednesday pick shows are great. Uh, last week we did uh, the Wednesday night one because my internet cut out. We we did it what, Wednesday at like 9 p.m. Um, you know, I mean, <laughs> maybe we go back to doing like a 9 p.m. Central Time kind of thing. But uh, so far this has been a lot of fun and we had a lot of viewers and you guys are wonderful for that. If you would, share out the show. Tell your friends about it. Make sure you are subscribed where you need to be subscribed. Make sure that you like the video before you jump out of here. We would definitely appreciate that. And, uh, and again, keep spreading the word. Go over to winningcureseverything.com. Go to sbrpicks.com slash NCAAF. Chris, is there anything that has happened that we need to discuss? That's it, my brother. Let's go. All right, you guys. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. We will see you again uh, Friday. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.